these new electronic systems could mean very, very big changes. Well, let's take a look at a typical office of today. And one of the first things you see, apart from the man working in it, is the filing cabinets. Now, what's going to happen to them, Mac? Well, most of them are going to go, Chris, along with the invoices and bills. Those are all going to be sent through by the computer. What about our old office friend, the faithful typewriter? Are we going to say goodbye to that as well? <laughs> well, they're allowed to be replaced today by word processing equipment, and that's going to be enhanced with graphic output, with being able to connect it to the mainframe computer. So a secretary's job will really be enhanced as she's able to help her boss in understanding the sort of speed at which his business is changing. Does that mean you're going to do away with paper altogether? Are the stationary doors finally going to close? No, they're not, because people really do still like to read things on paper and not on screens. But there is one remorseless fact that's happening. The cost of telecommunications are going down by 15% of the year, and the cost of delivering paper is going up by a similar amount. So shipping vast amounts of data around on paper is just going to disappear. So as you said, there is going to be paper, there's going to be a demand for paper, but an awful lot less of it. All right, exactly. well, come with me a second, Mac. I want to show you something. This is a sort of uh, a computer program speculative view, possibly, of the office <laughs> of the future. Um, we've got our computer terminal there, we've got our uh, view data terminal here, and we've got, as you described it, the word processor with its printer connected to it. Now, is that the sort of layout of a future office as you see it? Well, not a layout. There'll still be a filing cabinet, so some of the paper, there will certainly be a printer there, printing out paper, because we know that people do like to see it, and it will certainly be there. There will be screens, certainly, color, beautiful graphic output, connected to Prestel, connected into their main computer. The one thing I'm not so sure about is whether we'll see, hopefully, people will find a replacement for that, which is the keyboard. And that's the real thing that needs the breakthrough. Inputting data with a keyboard is difficult, it's prone to errors, and it takes a lot of training to do it quickly. But whatever you say about keyboards as they are now, there's still always going to be a need for the manipulation of text. And is that the sort of job we can do on our microcomputer? Yes, it is. A lot of people think of um, computers as handling complex, difficult mathematical calculations. But in fact, a lot of the time, they are used for manipulating data, characters, words, and letters, and so on. And we can show you some of the instructions on here. You recognize that. I'm beginning to recognize what looks like the beginning of a program, yes, a computer program. Well, the first one is probably new to you. It's CMS, which is a very nice way of saying clear screen. And it means when you run the program, it just wipes out whatever's on the screen, so you start off with a very clear screen. And that's a bit of your standard basic that's right, yes. computer jargon. Well, I think I recognize the shape of the next one anyway. Print quotes, what is your word? That means that when you run the program, the first thing it'll do is print on the screen the words, what is your word, question mark. Right, okay. yes. And input word string is telling the computer to expect a word, a string of letters making up a word. Right. Which in future you'll be able to refer to as word string and it knows where to find out what right. you put in. Okay. And what we're going to do is to write a little instruction which tells you how many characters there are in the word that you put in. Uh -huh. So we can do that with the next instruction. All right. Let's Let's print. The next print. Hang on, uh, famous instruction. Yes. In quotations. Yes. The length of your word is... Close the input, close the quotes. Right. Um, len, len word. Now, len is one of these abbreviations for length of word. And length will simply give us the length of, or the number of characters in your word. So we type length, but we don't type length. We type the abbreviation len. And len, and then the name that we've given it, which is word string. So it's len so space right. word string. And that simply counts the number of letters in the word. In the word, yes. Right. So it's very simple. If you hit return, then run it. Oh, oh yes. right. Well, um... Arthur. That's a word. Right, carriage return, or return. Oh, the lengthy word is six, which is the number of characters in Arthur. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clever. Well, of course, you can't show a whole program. We're showing little bits of instructions. That was a single instruction, if you like, which did that. But I have got a little program here and a floppy. This is the yeah, little floppy the disk. Floppy disk. <laughs> yes. Which we can put in here. Close it up. Yeah. And then we type load quotation marks text, which is the program we've got on the floppy. Yeah. Can you turn? And that is reading. Yes. And it's already in. Okay. So now what we're going to show you, if you run it, mm. type run and you'll see some text coming up now. There's right. the text. Okay. 
And you can see at the end here, it's all higgledy piggledy. They're not all. And it's as if, as if you typed it on a typewriter, yes. and the left hand margin is straight, and the right hand margin is always all crooked and indented. Yes. Well, it's okay. one of the jobs a sort of word processor would do, which would have to count these letters and then work out how to shorten them to make all these correct. This is actually the sort of job that a, an expert compositor in a, in a printing works would spend hours putting little slivers of metal in between the metal yes, type right. blocks to get it straight. Right. right. Now we've written a program here that does that, and uh, we simply hit a key. Yeah. That's it done.